what's up everybody warlock here welcome back to the channel so today guys we're gonna be going over my season 16 settings inside of apex legends let's get right into it let's not skip a freaking beat let's just go over everything that you need to know for your apex settings in season 16. okay so without jumping over everything too crazy i love all the support that you guys have given me so let's just go over things real quick and simple interact prompt style we're going to be starting in the gameplay menu we're going to be interact prompt style have this on compact if you are a newer player make sure to play on default but as you get um more experience with apex then definitely put it on com uh compact button hints i always keep these on this is just great to showcase your weapons in like l1 for your abilities it kind of shows you what you need to hit just in case if you're struggling with that uh, crosshair damage feedback i always want this off you never want this on x or with shield icon because all this does is just take up more space on your screen and you really 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 don't want that so make sure you have this off damage numbers should always be stacking otherwise you get this floating thing which really is just weird and you don't know what the total is going to be for the damage that you're doing to an enemy ping op uh, opacity always have this on default faded is just weird obituaries have on weapon auto cycle always have this off this means when you're shooting and you run out of ammo and you go to swap it's going to swap to a different gun and then a lot of times i get caught with hitting swap again and then i'm back to the gun that doesn't have any ammo so make sure that's always off okay auto sprint always on uh incoming damage feedback 2d or 3d doesn't really matter damage uh closes death box or crafting menu you want this off so that way you're able to armor swap inside of the game so that way you know you're taking damage you're able to armor swap and win the fight okay uh hop up pop up off streamer mode off don't be weird uh anonymous mode also off you uh performance display i like to have this on so i can see where i'm running at like 200 frames right now which is just really sick uh reticle color and laser sight this is all personal preference same thing with this entire um section but i you know i have these customized and then accessibility totally customizable whatever you like i just have them on normal because that just works best for me okay over to the video tab guys you want display mode always full with your normal aspects ratio keep it on the best resolution that you can for the monitor or tv that you're playing brightness always at 50 percent although 55 or 60 would be good fov should always be 110 guys if you're playing on anything shorter than this you were hurting yourself okay every other game now especially call of duty all these other games have fov sliders put it on the highest you're going to benefit from it greatly now fov ability scaling disable this what this means is, is that when this is enabled and i'm at like 100 fov when i pop like bloodhounds ultimate it's going to make my screen go to 110. so it's going to make your movement your aim and everything feel off because you're not used to playing at 110 you're used to playing at 100. make sure this is always uh disabled uh, sprint view shake always minimal guys you don't want to be getting seasick now for all these uh, controls below they're either going to be off or disabled but for vsync disabled nvidia reflex enable plus boost anti-aliasing tsaa texture streaming budget i have this on three you can go lower but i just like three it makes it a real clean look and then everything else needs to be on low or disabled i like impact marks on high but everything else is to be low or disabled. This is going to give you the, the best uh, frame rate possible. Okay. Uh, yeah, discard. Audio, master volume 100%. Uh, have your incoming chat volume at a decent amount. Sound effects volume, always 100. Now, dialogue volume, I like to have it around 70, maybe a 75 or 80. This way, uh, cues that happen from a player player's character, I'm going to hear it. So that way I can you know adjust to whatever's going on in the game. Music volume low and then lobby music low. You can have this on whatever that you really want, but music volume definitely low. Lobby music is just whatever when you're vibing out. Now let's get over to controller guys and what you're here for in the settings. So button layout always default because I have a PS5 scuff controller with paddles on the back. Uh, if you do not have paddles, then definitely bumper jumper is going to be the best one for you. So that way you can keep your thumbs on the thumbsticks. Okay, uh, stick layout always default interact and reload button always tap to use and reload now if you are on controller um, and you have struggles reloading behind doors or knockdown shields have hold on reload this does help okay or you can shoot your gun out and it'll automatically uh reload cross button should always be on hold so that way you can do um 
bunny hopping which would be really great on controller it's awesome pretty easy but you have to have it on hold okay survival slot on i always like this for easy heat shields trigger dead zones definitely on default if you have uh, like a new controller you can put them on none just to make them a little bit faster now menu cursor speed guys this is going to be personal preference because this is how fast you're going to be in the menus and how fast you can armor swap okay uh, i suggest starting about right here and then going up as you need to until you find something very very comfortable okay now down to the bread and butter movement dead zone should always be on small inverted look off unless you're a psycho and then vibration always off because it's going to affect your aim now i play on alcs but i always go back and forth because four three linear on small or none look dead zone is by far one of the best settings that you could ever have on controller per optic settings as follows okay default on three everything else is four and then the big stuff is five and then tens is four but i never use that stuff on controller because once you get up to the time six it really doesn't matter so this is very good i definitely suggest this but if you want to play alcs play mine i have dead zone at five percent outer threshold at one response curve at five all this means is is the lower these are on your joystick the more control you have which makes you more linear now response curve at seven is a classic dead zone okay it's classic anything below you're getting closer to linear i like mine about five but i always go back and forth between seven and five dead zone if you want a smaller one you can turn this all the way off which is great allows for uh, big control but if you want you can start at 10 and go down okay uh, but i like it right there per optic settings as follows you guys can copy that uh yaw speed and pitch speed 320 it's a little bit over a four as far as you're looking left and right 180 is just over a three and to me this is perfect for when you're going up and down left and right makes it crazy and it's not too out there you can do some flicks especially with shotguns or wingmans so i really like this all the turning stuff needs to be off guys ads y'all and pitch speed 120 i always find myself going between 110 120 130 it just depends if i feel like i'm missing some shots and you know when they're strafing i turn it up or if i feel like i'm really hitting shots i keep it low um but 120 is the good middle ground now ads pitch speed 100 or 90 is really good this is great for uh, the main reason I put it on this is because when you're tracking a horizon, going up a horizon queue, you're able to track them perfectly. Okay, so keep this at least on 90, if not 100 or 110. Okay, all this is very good. And then, of course, all the turning extra stuff all off. And then target compensations, you need to have these on if you're on controller. That is your aim assist. Okay, guys, that is my Apex Legends Season 16 settings and they absolutely fry like the video if you did enjoy it comment down below if these settings do help you and guys again always love all the support that you guys give me on the apex legends videos we are doing more of that stuff so especially in the shorts guys so if there's something you want to see comment down below and i'll try to make it happen for you but as always stay gaming and i'll catch you guys in the next one peace